Can I get a raise of hands if anyone's been doing this for less than one year? Okay, over five years? Raise your hands. Okay, over 10 years? Wow, over 15 years? Wow, good, good, good. Should I keep going? Yeah. Yeah. 20 years? 25. 25. No. 30. Over 30. Over 30. Wow. Oh, so you guys have a ton of experience here. A ton of experience. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> you check no. it out. You check it out. Yeah. I haven't been doing this that long. I've only been doing this since I was 12 years old. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not that old. So, originally from Mexico, we moved illegally to the United States <laughs> when I was four. <laughs> I started doing door-to-door -door newspaper sales and then went from door-to-door to, -door to selling uh, cookware door-to-door -door as well so I have to say thank God for sales yeah. because that's the only thing that we could do when we move there my whole family he says hey Tony you know what I found this great industry timeshare he said I think you should look at this and then I said okay great but what, do you, what am I gonna have to do I mean you want me to move to Mexico we're already living in Los Angeles by the way I grew up in Los Angeles and he's like yeah and I said, well, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. You know, we left to have a better living. Why would I go back to Mexico? So finally, I ended up taking on that choice. I came to Mexico, and I gotta say, it's the best choice I've made in my life. And you go, okay, guys, so uh, the down payment is only $6,000. Uh, how would you guys like to take care of that? And you know you gotta sell? And they go, oh, well, Tony, you know, first of all, I gotta say thank you for, for doing a great job. You've done an amazing job, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this, and I'm gonna, I'll be back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about it, okay? <laughs> now get this though, what happens to you when they say that? Then you go to Exactly. <laughs> what? I don't understand. <laughs> you told me earlier that your family was a poor. You told me that this, and you said that it was 100% affordable, you do it. What happened? <laughs> and then they go, whoa. And if you're, well, you know, you, you've messed with me, you've lied to me. And they're gonna go, Tony, you've changed. You've lied. I thought you, you're just trying to sell me this. What happened to all that building up and that story about your family? That you're just trying to, and boom. And that happens, guys. I see it happening every single day. Number one in that. Your father? You're like, what? You feel like they did something to you. Yeah. So here's the key, guys. It's important that you know, because it's going to happen, okay? When they say that, you don't change face. Do not change face. So it's very important that we understand that, guys. When you see a client is apprehensive, skeptical, okay? Do not go into talking about your product. Yeah, just let it go. Okay? On the side. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta start, you gotta start building a relationship slowly. If you come to your table like that, I'm gonna go, oh, I got something. I just gotta work the table a little bit. You've done your job. <clears throat> we hear this all the time, no, you know what, financially I'm not in the best situation to do this. Right now is not the best timing. The economy, my business went down. I don't have the money, but otherwise, otherwise I do it. I jump all over it. And a lot of times we go, well, if it's the money, then I can't do nothing. But you know what this closer would do? He, he, he'd tell them, oh, okay, you know, it, it, well, wow, guys, I, I'm sorry I couldn't help you. I wish I could, do, I wish I could have done more. Um, and it's a shame because it sounds to me like you really, really want our product. I mean, it sounds to me like there would be nothing else that would keep you from doing it other than the dollars. Am I correct to say that? No, yeah, you're right. How come? And then they go, well, you know what, Tony, we would love to do this because, you know, I want to spend more time with my family. I know that this would guarantee me vacations every year, and they would get to that I would get to see the world. And you told me that I could go to uh, Dominican, and you told me I can go to Europe, and those are our dream vacations. And I really would like to achieve all those things, Tony. And I think this is a great idea because it could keep us as a family close together, and and they could do this and they could do that, and they're gonna get in their mid brain And then he would say, "Wow, guys, I gotta I gotta be I gotta be upfront with you guys. I I didn't know you really wanted it that bad." It sounds to me like you guys love what we have here, and if it wasn't for the money, you would do it. And they go, yeah. Well, you know what, guys? I'm not saying that we could do anything to help you, but why don't you go ahead and just fill this worksheet out. Go ahead and put your names and number. And if there's anything that we can do to get you started with a no money down program, okay, and get you guys to finance out. See, they have a credit card. Maybe they don't have the money in their savings, but they have a credit card. Vendors. 
And what the manager would do would come in and say, you know what? Or I would come in and, and I'd say, you know what? Well, in, uh, this gentleman has told me that you really care, you really want to do it. It sounds to me that it's important, guys. I'm not, I'm not saying that I can do it, but I'll try my best. And then we'd come in and we'd say, hey, guess what? Congratulations, it's been approved. There's no money down. All we're going to ask is to put 10% down payment. I'm sorry, uh, that you pay the taxes, which is 10%, which is the down payment anyways. The smallest down payment. I believe that every rule in the book can be broken. Yes, of course. You just got to know when. Yes. How do you know when? When you know what part of the brain you're in. What you know what they're thinking. Because maybe you got to go back a step to put them somewhere else. Or maybe you need to go a step forward to get them into the part of the brain that you need them to. And then when you're asking these type of questions and they're giving you negative responses, one that you do not expect to get, right? Like if you tell me, Tony, you still timeshare? Oh, I thought you were a reputable person. I can't believe you do that. So you, you actually do that? Do you feel good about what you do? And then you get commission? Oh, I'm gonna go, oh, wait a minute. I love what I do. I help people vacation every year. I help them with their dreams. And I, and I get offensive a little bit, right? Well, your clients do the same. When you tell them, when you tell them, you vacation, you camp out every year? Oh, and with the mosquitoes? And how, you know, they start to do the same. Now, let's look at the opposite. Okay, and I'm gonna wrap it up with this. Let's look at the opposite. Let's say you sell time share, and you tell me that you sell time share. And I go, no way, oh boy, you're so lucky. You got the greatest job in the world, and you can take off vacations, and you work from nine to two p.m., oh, you're so lucky. Man, that's the best job in the world. I, you're so lucky, I don't even understand why I'm in my business. I would do anything to do what you do, yeah. because it sounds to me like you have the most perfect job in the world. You're going to go, I can still commission, you're going to go, uh, I still got to be responsible, and, uh, and it's still a job. Yeah. So until I start telling you how great it is what you're doing, do I have any opportunity for you to tell me what's not great about what about it? Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. So use that. Reverse psychology. Okay, exactly. Because we automatically, as humans, will always defend our beliefs. We'll defend what we do. So if these people really only like camping, and you start to go camping, oh my God, I can't believe you do that. I mean, no AC, mosquito, they're gonna, they might not even tell you, but they go, you, you don't know what you miss. Right? Instead, go, wow, amazing. You guys camp? Yeah. With the stars? Yeah. And you get to see? Wow, and you got the whole tent and you guys are nice and cozy. I do it. I do, it. do you guys do bonfires? Boy, when I grew up, I used to do that every year. Man, that's amazing. And you guys go fish? You do You go fish? Because I know we used to. Now, I know my, 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 uh, my sister hated it, but I loved it. I mean, hey, that's great, isn't it? And you get to do that every single year? And the kids do kids, how do you feel about it? And Matt, do you like it as much as your husband does? <laughs> well, okay, so be smart about that because times are changed, guys, and we gotta change with it. A lot of them know more about timeshare than we do. They do. Because timeshare now is a conversation that they can have at any given point over dinner with friends. Oh, you all want no way, me too. Or you all want to, I went, I went and I saw one and oh my god, I hated it. Everybody's talking about it. It's a common discussion nowadays. And everybody's sharing information. It's not like before where our job was a, not much easier, if I may say that, because we only had one competitor and that was the travel agent. A lot of people wouldn't buy online because they were not trustworthy of these online uh, companies or giving their information online. But they would trust you know, their local travel agent. So that was our competitor. So it's very easy. Now our competitor is not the travel agent, right? It's technology, it's the internet. What are we doing to be able to keep up? So don't confuse your goals with theirs. Just because you like to hang out on the beach and do nothing doesn't mean they don't, okay? We're gonna talk about this later on too, about when we're doing our discovery and we're asking them when they go, so what's important to you in your vacation? They say, oh, I like to relax. And you go, oh, okay, great. And then you go on to the second question. Wait a minute. What does relaxation, relaxation mean to you? Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll tell you, oh, what relaxing means to me is getting up at 6 in the morning every day, going for a run. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Right? Yeah. That might not be relaxing to you, but if you don't ask those type of questions, 
you're, you're not gonna get to know your client. Yes. Okay, so we're we're gonna get to that. Uh, has this been helpful? Yeah. yeah. yeah.